Hey guys, Shaber 1000 here. We got three DeWalt drills here. Two work, one doesn't, one's busted. Uh, one's kind of iffy. It works sometimes. Sometimes you gotta mess with the trigger to get it to work. So let's take a couple of these and build at least one good one. Okay guys, so what we got going on here is, uh, okay, like I said, this one's kind of iffy. This one here worked fine, but as you can see, it's busted. Yeah. Now this one's the same drill, um, but it doesn't work. Okay, but it's got a good case. So... And these two are hammer drills. This is not a hammer drill. It's just a regular, regular drill. And also the arrows are different. So someone must have had it apart before. That's supposed to be turning the other direction. That should be driving them in. It's taking it out. <coughs> okay, so there's that. We're not going to mess with that other one. So, this one works, and it works good. See, that's, that's the right way. This one, oh, it does work. Okay, well, wasn't working yesterday, but that's good. Uh, because if you can see... This right here, someone's had to get on it with a pair of uh, channel locks or something to see that to break that loose to get a bit out. Now this one wasn't working yesterday for some reason, so it's got a better chuck. So you can still see the grip marks on it. You can still read that 700 series. This one just worn pretty much slam out. So. Well, okay. Let's um, <laughs> let's find something else to do. Cause I was using this drill last night. And it, it does okay. It's just uh, you know, like I said, sometimes somebody's had problems with the button before. Apparently, they've switched something around. Cause that's backwards. Um. Okay. Well, I guess I just made this video for nothing. Well, let's let's find something else to do. All right, guys. So what I've decided to do is try to take this apart and see if we can't fix that switch while it's running backwards. Uh, I've never had a Dewalt part before, so I'm not sure how it comes apart. I think this may have to come off. Um, so I'm not sure. These some of these are. A little different than others get off you normally there's a screw down inside there I see a screw down inside there to get these chucks off and it should be left-handed threads well that wasn't very tight at all I'm not sure how it comes off after that so I may have to um, Google this to find out to find out how it comes off because I do know you can you can change these this may have to unscrew I see a slot here and a slot there for like a little wrench to go in so let me get a get something a little wrench and we'll try to unscrew that and if not then we'll uh, we'll go to Google and find out because I'm pretty sure that this is going to have to come off for this case to split apart so let me grab a wrench so we got this out okay you seen that right 
Now, what it says to do, it says to insert an Allen wrench in the chuck and tighten it down. So maybe this will help somebody if it works. Okay. Okay, so that's tightened. Then it says to hit that with a mallet. Let me grab a mallet. Okay, I've got a mallet here. It says to hit it. See, the whole thing's turning. So, what I think I'm going to have to do is I've got me a, a real thin wrench here. I think we need to hold that, right? Does that make sense? Get it off the edge of the table. Doesn't seem like anything's happening. Chuck off of a DeWalt grill. So there it is. Alright. I'm not sure how this is going to come out. Let's go ahead and start taking these screws out. I'll just go ahead and speed you up because I know this is pretty boring here. In fact, it's a Torx. They're Torx screws. Let me get a Torx bit and we'll use the uh, impact driver on it. Okay, we have them all out. This one right here is a little smaller than the other ones. So, now I still may have to, I'm sure this has to come off somehow. I don't know if it pops off. Do you know it's, it's had to be a part before. Oh, okay. So that'll work. This has had to have been a part before. Because, like I said, this is backwards. guess if we switch these real stiff wires and that doesn't look like it's going to work if we switch them so how doesn't make sense why that would be backwards like that you know Weird. Let me check. Let me check this. Uh, let me do my homework on this. See what the hell is going on. Okay, guys. What I've done is switch these 
wires around the the purple and the brown so let's um let's put this on here Sure it switches. Got neutral, yes. Okay. Let's find out why this is not going all the way together here. There we go. Alright. Okay, it's together. Let's put a battery in it. Okay, now this thing, here I'll just put this on here, so you can see, See the arrows pointing that way. This should be turning clockwise. Go like this. And it is. Okay, now let's flip the switch to reverse. See the arrow? To bring something out, it should back it out. Alright, there we go. So, take the battery out. screws back in. They're all the same size it looks like except for that one little one that we took out of there. So we're going to start with this. I'll speed it up for you again. I wanted to make note on this particular one. Let's see if I can get a better looking one for you. See? It will take a Torx bit or you can use a straight standard size screwdriver on that okay now up here was it this one one of these I couldn't yeah this one my Torx wouldn't go down in so I just used the uh, used the standard screwdriver part so let's get this together Tighten this back up. Alright. Also, I forgot to mention while I had it apart, I used some of this in that switch because I don't know. Like I said, it would just every once in a while just stop working and you had to, like, you'd flip that back and forth and then do it again and it would work. So. See, that's backwards. Now let's put it on forward. See the arrow? Now it should be turning clockwise. And it is. It's low. It's Okay, seems to be doing good. Well, we accomplished something today, so there we go. 
Well, we've accomplished something today. Uh, I put a couple lights up temporary up above the bench there. Um, what I'm going to do is get a light like I have above the other workbench, which I do not turn on. Have turned on. That's what's dark. Uh, like that light right there. So I did put a bench up there. But I want to get one of these lights. It's a four footer. And I want to mount it right under this bench here. Right along through here. So there you go. So guys, if you have to change a, a chuck in your drill, um, I still got to put this back in, in the chuck. So that will be sitting right there. I will not forget it. So if you have changed the, the chuck in your, in your DeWalt drill, that's how you do it. So awesome job uh, at least we got that straightened out so, so now I've got two backups like I said you saw this one still works if I would need it for something so cool and we have one of our own we got a cheap one with several batteries I've got a light blinking so alright guys and we also have an electric one so I got plenty of drills Alright guys, thanks for watching, appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, I'm gone for now. Bye bye guys, and take care.